Hi everyone, this is the design we're going to be working on today. So, if you want to learn how, then keep on watching. So you're going to need your watercolors. I'm also going to be using two different types of brushes. A long or medium stripe brush and a detail brush. You will need a glitter nail polish and the one I'm using is China Glaze called Techno and a white nail polish. So the first thing you want to do is apply one coat of white nail polish and let that dry completely. And the next thing we're going to do is create this background. Now what I've chosen is a yellow, a very light green, like an apple green and a pink. You can use any color that you want for your background and you're going to apply a very light coat just randomly, sort of like sponging. You can do this with nail polish too. Uh, you can use whatever bright colors that you want and you can sponge them onto the nail but I like using the watercolors and I'm going to be using this fine detail brush to create this look. So now we're going to be working on these four fingers and as you can see I made the lines go in different directions just so that they're a little bit different and we're going to be using the striping brush to achieve these lines. I'm also going to be using the black water color and make sure you have um, your water and a piece of napkin so that you can wipe your brush in between. Next I'm going to be working on these zigzag triangles on the tip here and I'm going to be using the same strapping brush. Next I'm going to be working on the flowers that you guys see close to the cuticle and every nail has it in a different spot. Some are close to the free edge, some close to the cuticle. And I'm going to be using the striping brush again and my black. So to do this you're going to load your brush with paint. So dip it into the water and then into the black paint. And you're going to lay the striping brush flat and then pick it up. And then flat and pick it up. And flat and pick it up flat and pick it up and as you can see that creates perfect little petals in the center of the two lines that we drew in the middle of the nail what I've done is I've just uh, filled it in with either pink or green or blue whatever color that you guys want on my middle finger I just used the glitter nail polish so I won't even show you guys that it's just taking a little bit of nail polish and applying it into the center of that strip that's all I did for the middle fingers but you can apply whatever color that you want so I'm going to go with a um, with a pink here again and that is it for the pointer finger and all of the rest. We're going to wait for this to dry and we're going to continue on to the thumbnail which is what we're going to be creating next. Alright so for the thumbnail all I'm going to use is my striping brush and my black color and the petals on the flowers are basically the same as I did on the other nails just pressing the brush and lifting. Let me show you guys. It's always best to practice on paper if you're not really, really um, comfortable, especially when you're working with watercolors because it can be a little bit tricky. So just press it and lift. And then you can also just make the petal a little bit thicker if you want, just like that. So it is super easy. So just press and lift. Press and lift. And then press again and just kind of round it off a little bit. Perfect your little petals. Just like that. Nothing to it. With a little bit of practice anybody can do it. If I can do it, you guys can too.
And next, for the smaller petals that I did here, I'm going to be using this smaller brush. And now the very last thing that we have to do is top coat. And I suggest doing uh, two, two coats of top coat because the paint that you're putting on the nails is super thin but you want this design to be sealed really really well. I did two coats on all of the nails. And once you're done, this is what you guys have and I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye for now.